What's happening everybody? It's Chris here. Today is a pin tag video. And if you don't know what pin tag is, basically it's a video where you kind of get to showcase your pins um, in regards to a certain prompt or theme. After you show off your pins, you then tag other channels um, who then record their pins as well. Um, in regards to um, that same prompt. So it's pretty fun and it's a cool way um, to get to know other channels and it's a good way to, um, you know, be involved in the pin community. So this is my first pin tag video. Um, so take it easy on me. Um, I did create my own prompt. I know other channels have done a certain prompt and I believe it's the day, um, days of the week um, format. So basically they showed off pins that represented days of the week for them. Um, so for me, I created my own and um, I call it the Disney Pin Tag Summer Edition. So the prompt for this Disney Pin Tag is, the first one is a pin that resembles you on a hot day, a pin that resembles what you do during vacation, a pin that includes a beverage of some sort, a pin that you think is fire or hot, and then the last one is a pin that resembles your reaction to Disney summer blockout dates. Yeah, that one was a little petty on my part, but had to do it. It's a summer, it's a summer Disney tag prompt. Come on, you have to include that. So yeah, those are the prompts that I created for this Disney pin tag. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into our video. So again, our first prompt is a pin that resembles you on a hot day. So the pin that I chose is this one right here. So it's Hades and he's basically holding pain and panic and honestly i'm pain and panic in the heat you guys so in the heat i have pain because it hurts my skin and it flares up and then i'm also panicking at the same time because it's so hot so i feel like this pin accurately describes me um, during the heat and i'm pretty sure a lot of you out there can relate to this one as well the next one is a pin that resembles what you do during vacation. Um, so initially, 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 sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Initially, I thought of this pin. So it's Mickey and Duffy and it's from the Alani Resort. Some of you may know that uh, I go to Hawaii a lot. Um, I lived there for a couple of years and I always like going back on my vacations, but I feel like this pin, um, I mean, it's kind of like basic, like, oh, I go to Hawaii on vacation, cool. But let's be honest, you guys, um, besides that pin, I feel like this one is way more accurate in regards to what I do during my vacation slash breaks. And it's this one right here. So this one is Winnie the Pooh, and it says, I believe in naps. I sleep a lot, I love to sleep. Honestly, the past couple weeks, I've been so drained from work that right after I get off work, I lay down, I watch TV and knock out, wake up and work, and then knock out, and then it's basically a whole cycle. But yeah, this pin is so accurate, especially with the way that Pooh is hugging that pillow because I love hugging my pillows. So, sue me. That's, that's me, that's what I do during my vacations for the most part is I nap, I sleep. I can sleep anywhere to be honest. The next pin prompt is a pin that includes some sort of beverage um so i had to go ahead and pick this one it's my poo boba pin and honestly i'm not a hundred percent on if this is authentic or not i don't know if you guys can see the enamel is low-key like spilling into places it shouldn't but this is one of my favorite pins and it's one of the first pins that i actually got and on a hot summer day boba is the way to go i mean I don't know if everyone who's watching this has tasted boba tea, but I believe there is a boba tea for everybody. So initially for me, like, I didn't like boba at all. It took maybe five drinks until I was actually like, okay, I think I like this type of taste. I think I like 
this type of texture. So if you have tried boba and you do not like it, do not give up. You just have to find the right drink. So again, this is the pin that fits into that beverage category. And if you guys are curious, my go-to boba drinks right now is a matcha latte um, or a strawberry black tea. Those are usually my go-to's. If you are out there, you don't like getting boba, you just haven't found the right drink yet. All right, so for the next prompt, it is a pin that you think is fire, or parentheses, hot. So I kind of left this open-ended. It doesn't have to be literally fire related. It can be something that you think is like a grail or something that you think is an amazing pin. Um, so for me, I had to go ahead and choose this one. And this is a huge, huge pin. It's Hades, and I actually got this from Crack and Trade at the last Crack and Trade um, pin trade show. So shout out to Crack and Trade. This is an amazing fire pin. Um, Hades, his head moves, and then I was also told that it glows in the dark. This pin is just glorious. Like, look how dope this pin is. So again, shout out to Crack and Trade. This is what I chose for my fire pin. All right, so it's time for the final prompt. And the final one is a pin that resembles your reaction to Disney summer blackout dates. Um, and to be honest, you guys, I'm just so petty with my key because it's hard going to the parks like every week, which is what I've been doing. And then for two whole months, you gotta stop. So for me, it's been so hard. I've been trying to like find anything Disney related to do. And I know I haven't posted a lot, um, but it's just really hard driving after work for two hours to go to downtown Disney to pin trade and then parking is $30 and it's just, you know, it's just, I hope you guys are understanding of that. Trust me, I really want to pin trade and make a lot of footage, post a lot of videos just because of my location in San Diego and the price of parking and the drive to get there. It's just, it's a really hard task to do on the weekly. So anyway, the pin that I chose that resembles my reaction to Disney summer blackout dates is this one right here. And it's Pooh and his face is like, oh. you know, like look at his face, that's me. When I saw the calendar, I was just like in shock, like really? Like two months without Disney? What am I going to do? So I'm so happy I have this pin because every time I look at it, I can relate to it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I know it's my first one. If you are ever curious on Disney pin tag, I would go on YouTube and search up Disney pin tag and check out all those amazing channels um, that do this on a regular basis. Again, um, the people I have tagged for this Disney pin tag, I will go ahead and link their channels down below. Make sure to subscribe to them and be on the lookout for their Disney pin tag um, for this summer edition prompt that I made. And if you are personally inspired and want to make your own Disney pin tag, go for it. And if you want, tag me in it. Um, I would love to do another one of these videos. I think it's really fun and it's a cool way to talk about Disney pins without me having to be at the park. And before I forget, if any of you ever want to trade with me, um, you can always hit me up um, through my DMs on Instagram. Go ahead and DM me there. Maybe we can work out a trade. So that's it for this video. Again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. This is Kristen Bancy signing off. Bye!